Uh, question eight, six marks from together, three and three. So, part one, one says two, show that, eight. Sine squared x, cos squared, there. Cos squared x is uh, one minus cos four x. Okay, so this one took a little bit of thinking, but it is Sunday, I am slightly hungover. Um, so, I think with this one, it's easier to turn the right hand side into the left hand side. So, things that we are going to need, we are going to need that sine of 2x is 2 sine x cos x. And we're also going to need to think of cos 4x as cos of 2x add 2x and then we're going to use the compound angle formulas. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go. So, 1 minus cos 4x can be written as 1 minus cos 2x add 2x. Now, using the compound angle formulas, cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So, that's going to give us 1 minus cos squared uh, 2x minus sine squared 2x. Now, at this point, this is where now we need to be thinking, right, well, we got 2x in cos and sine. We know that we can turn sine of 2x into 2 sine x cos x. Now, the answer that we want is 8 sine squared cos squared. So, we're going to need a, or we need everything to be in terms of sine of 2x. So, we know that um, sine squared add cos squared is equal to 1. So, cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So we get 1 minus, and then in the brackets, so cos squared 2x is 1 minus sine squared 2x. And then we got the other minus sine squared 2x. Now, 1 minus 1 cancels out. So in the sign of the brackets, we've got minus 2 sine squared 2x. Remember that we have a negative on the outside. So at this point, we've now got 2 sine squared 2x. Okay, so we can write that as 2 sine of 2x squared, which is 2 lots of 2 sine x cos x all squared, which is 2 times 4 sine squared uh, x cos squared x and then finally 2 times 4 is 8 sine squared x cos squared x boom ok then that 2 says hence find the integral of sine squared x 
cause quite X with respect to X. Okay, so sine squared X cos squared X is almost what we were just playing with, except sine squared X cos squared X is 8. Sine squared X cos squared X over 8. So using the identity, we know that that is 1 minus cos 4x over 8. So that is what we are now going to integrate. So I suppose we should say the integral of sine squared x cos squared x with respect to x is 1 eighth the integral of 1 minus cos 4x with respect to x. So that's going to give us 1 eighth times x. Now cos integrates to sine, so using the chain rule to off with that 4x we get minus a quarter sine of 4x add c so we've got x over 8 minus uh, sine of 4x over 32 so minus 32 sine of 4x add C. Boom.